The Rattlesnake Dam Removal Project is approaching its final leg of construction. Now that we've heard the story of the dam, we decided to visit with the owner of the construction company that's handling the contract. KPAX's Jack Ginsburg has more with him on his past in the Rattlesnake and what he's hoping for the future. The removal project began in 2017 and is now in the final stages as construction to remove and repair the site began on Monday. The construction contract was given to a company called Aquaterra Restoration. Coincidentally enough, their owner, Arlen Grimes, grew up here in the Upper Rattlesnake neighborhood. He's coming back to his childhood home to naturalize a place he once called his stomping grounds. Yeah, I grew up here about a quarter mile from the dam site here. And uh, so summertime when I was a kid, I was down here most every day, every chance I got. Fishing and playing in the every river below the dam there. I got memories every time I turn around. Grimes has been a part of tons of construction projects over his life, but says this is one he'll remember forever. In the past, I've done construction and logging and other projects where you see what you've done and as an impact to everything. And it's kind of nice to have a chance to look back and not be able to tell I was there, go the other direction. While some of the restoration will be visible through recreational trails around the area, Grimes' work focuses primarily on the renaturalizing of the creek. My scope of the project is just getting the existing dam structure out and restoring the river to a natural channel through there. Primary goal is being fish passage and uh, a little bit more riparian zone for floodplain habitat. Not only are the fish going to be happy, but outdoor lovers as well. The dam removal project has had tons of community support from day one, something Grimes says he's grateful for. The overwhelming support the project has. It's fun to come in on a job like that and know that most of the people that are walking by are happy to see it happening. In Missoula, Jack Ginsburg, MTN News. We've been following this story since the very beginning and uh, we'll continue to update you as they tear down the dam and get that uh, deconstruction and all that other work hoping to wrap up in the fall of 2021.